Hey love, so it's your girl April and this is going to be a hair tutorial for Silhouette Lanes. So anyway, um, I got a package in the mail from Silhouette Lanes. This is a brand new company and I was very impressed with the website, but the packaging is like amazing. So I got this like days and days ago and I did not open it yet. I do know there's three bundles of 14 inches in here, but I didn't open it because I wanted you guys to see exactly what it looks like when you get your package in the mail. So first things first, I did get a card that said thank you. And in the card, it basically tells you how to care for your actual version here. It also does tell you to, um, also says thank you as well for your purchase. So you do get that. But let's get on to the good portion of this video. Now, I don't even want to open this because it's wrapped so definitely, but we're going to have to open it. And like I said, I waited for you guys because I wanted to open it on camera. And I wanted you guys to see how it looks. So super, super cute um, ribbon, which I will be keeping. And here is the packaging that you'll get your hair in. So inside, your hair is also wrapped once again with some more paper as well as some bows. So a lot of time and effort and work was put into this actual packaging, which is awesome because for one, you can tell that they really care about their customer as well as their appearance. So on this as well, there are tags which do state the origin of the hair and the actual length, okay? The texture and the origin. So this is the Brazilian body wave and it's 14 inches. I do have three 14 inches and I like all these little bowls so I'm gonna keep them all. But the hair is like super soft, very luxurious. Um, the bundles are very well coiled. Um, they do look like they are double wefted, but then again, I'm not really sure, but I do honestly believe that they are. A lot of bundles, sometimes I see when they're double wefted, the, the tracks are like so thick and it makes it so impossible sometimes to do the fold over method. I mean, I can still do it, but it takes a little bit more time and effort to actually go ahead and sew it and tack it down so the hair is super soft the ends are like really thick so it's not thin at the ends which is impressive it's not dried out looking it just looks really healthy like some really really gorgeous hair and all the bundles mimic one another once again the ends are like in great shape now on to the closure which is also 14 inches. So this is the closure. It's really huge and wide. Um, it's shaped differently, which is more or less a square, but it does have the reinforced sides. But the hair, once again, is like beautiful, like really pretty. And as for the density and the knots, this is like some gorgeous hair. Wow. Very impressive. So like I said, they're a, are, they, they are a brand new company and they were asked, I was asked to do a review. You also do get some business cards with their phone number inside. So if you ever need to contact them, then you can do so. I like it when you have a phone number for your website. So that way you can call. I don't have one for mine, but I respond really quick. So yes, so of course you girls already know I'm going to make this into a wig. Um, it's 14 inches, so I wanted something a little bit shorter, maybe to like right up here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do to it. So we shall see, and I'm going to get to making that unit. But in the meantime, I will post their information for you girls below, so that way you can check them out. And don't forget their special packaging and so forth. So I'll see you girls throughout this video. Okay ladies, so I am back to finish this video and I will tell you this, I decided to do something totally out the norm and it was actually a bob. So I went ahead and cut some layers, or not cut some layers, but I did cut this wig into a bob style unit. This is the second bob that I've ever made and I will be honest and tell you, I am not a pro at doing a bob. There is a lot of construction when it comes to making a bob, like you have to get the cut just perfect so of course i did watch a few youtube tutorials i did get out my clippers um you know the men's clippers and my scissors and my razor comb and it took me i'm gonna be honest like 45 minutes to perfect this 
perfectly like seriously so first time or not even first time but first time on youtube showing a bob that i actually made now i am not one for bobs because i just feel like my head is like super long so i don't really do the bobs that's why you either see me with something really short or something really long but i just I don't know. You got to get the right style bob that suits yourself. So I have made bobs. They're more or less wavy style bobs. And this one, I decided to keep it straight. So first things first about the hair, I did cut it. When I was flat ironing it before, prior to cutting the hair, the ends did seem really dry. They was kind of coarse and dry. And good thing I was cutting it because the ends were a little frayed to me. It was a little bit fried. Um, but other than that, the hair came out really well. It is some silky hair, like really, really pretty hair. So I already went ahead and placed the part in it with my actual concealer, which I need to go get <laughs> right now. And other than that, um, it does have the four combs in it like always, and it's on a mesh spandex stone cap. You girls know how I always use the topic hair building fibers in my videos to make my edges look thicker so this time around I have a new product which is basically kind of similar this is strand maximizer this bottle is actually identical to topic however you get more product and it does not come with the spray nozzle I do believe you have to purchase this separately but when you get the product it does come like this with the actual top on it and it's just like a salt and pepper shaker you can shake it out if you want to I would not advise that I would advise getting the nozzle for it so you just take it off you just twist it off and you take the nozzle and you just screw it right on these are like little tiny hair fibers, so it's really simple to use. It's not wet on your hair, and you just press it, you know, pump it, pump it down, and it comes out. Now, I do like this one a lot better than the Topic, and I was a Topic girl, but Strand Maximizer to me is a little bit better. It does help with thin edges if you have balding spots. It will work. There's so many different brands I've seen on Amazon. Um, another company hit me up, and it's kind of similar to this, but they wanted forty dollars. Like forty dollars for this is ridiculous. So this is twenty bucks, and I'm going to actually put the link below. But I like this a lot better, a little bit better than the actual topic that I've been using because for one, you get more, and this isn't a color dark brown, but the fibers seem much thicker than the actual topic brand, which means it's less time consuming. It covers more areas and it covers fully instead of you using more products. So Strand Maximizer is a plus in my book and you will see how I'm going to use this. But I will post their links below. So if you're looking for something that you have or need for thin edges or balding spots, I would highly, highly suggest this product. You will see me use something very similar to this, which was another brand. But this one right now, I'm going to be using this in like all my videos. So Strand Maximizer is it. There is a variety of colors. And like I said, it's better to me than the actual topic because the actual fibers they look just like little hair fibers that come out fully cover a lot better so i'm not spraying as long i'm not spraying as much this is has better full coverage so a lot of people have been asking me about the topic and i'm going to suggest strand maximizer now there are other products that you can use i've seen people that use this gel that's like black gel and it'll make your edges look thick i'm not really going to advise that because to me it kind of looks cakey and thick and it just really looks gunky so that is not one of my faves i've never tried it but if you want to give it a try that's on you guys me personally I like this because it gives you a more natural look than something that's kind of pasted down to your sides. Now, you don't need any type of setting spray with this. I use hairspray, but I use hairspray because I just love hairspray. Of course, you may have to reapply a little bit every day um, if, it, if your style, you know, requires it. But yeah, Strand Maxer is so far so good to me. So like I said, I have in the color dark brown. So yes, let's get into this wig tutorial. I have finally finished this and I know the company is like, girl, but I, and I do apologize because I have a lot of projects that's going on. So I'm kind of late on things. And
you guys. First of all, it probably looks crazy right here because the way I curled it. But it's actually all even. And like I said, it took me like a minute to get it like this. I had it on my mannequin head, and then I had to put it on my own head, and then I had to readjust it, fix it, and then readjust it on the mannequin's head. So it took me like 45 minutes to an hour to get it to perfection like this. Um, it probably looks probably like uneven on camera, but it's the way I situated on my head. I wanted my part more to this side, but either way, um, you do have bobs that are more longer on one side. I like it more behind my ear because, like I said, I just feel like I have like this long head, and wearing a bob, to me, I be feeling like I got like this Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory look going on. And some ladies look so gorgeous in bobs and I'm just like, why can't I pull it off? Why can't I pull it off? But I don't know. I just think it has a lot to do with my weight gain and my head shape. So for me, I like it a lot better tucked behind my ear. And then I feel a lot more secure with it. But it is so free flowing. Like the hair is gorgeous. Like, ugh. Oh. It just flows easily and it moves so easily. So, yes. Um, the first one I did, the hair wasn't as soft as this. It wasn't as great as this one. So, it wasn't as free-flowing. But with this, I'm really, like, happy. Now, but, yes, yeah, so the bob came out really great. I'm really happy with it. For it to be my second go-round, um, the first one came out okay. But this one came out to, like, my satisfaction. And as far as the hair is concerned, it's really soft hair. You can see it's just, like, super soft. Just the only thing, and it's just so bad. Bouncy, like free flowing. Um, but it is really flowy hair. The only thing, the only issue that I had was the ends was kind of dried out. As far as the concern of shedding, actually did not shed, and I was impressed with that. For one, it did not shed. The only issue I had was with the actual ends now as for the closure i did pluck a few pairs in the actual front like where the edges are at because they were kind of close together and i like my part to look as natural as possible i don't really like a thin 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 part as far as the hair is concerned i would highly suggest them and yeah i'm like mm, feeling it feeling it feeling it feeling it like i'm i'm really happy with myself because this was one accomplishment that I really wanted to achieve, and it was to make a bob hairstyle. And I did not want to do something that was the same like normal. So, yes, ladies, yes. I might just put some color in this. I'm really not sure. But I'm really happy and I'm proud of myself for achieving a bob finally. Now, I know there are different types of bobs. And, listen, I achieved this one. Don't ask me about making no different style bobs because this is baby steps when it comes to bob making. It looks easy because a bob is just a bob, really isn't much to it, but you got to get that cutting style, like, down. If you don't, your bob is screwed up. But I like the length, and I really like the way it came out all around. So, yes. So, all the information for all the companies will be posted for you girls below. Let me know what you think of my bob. And as always, stay diva and devolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you girls on my next video.